On Friday, the International Criminal Court announced an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin. The warrant against the Russian president is based on the war crime accusation of unlawfully deporting Ukrainian children. The Hague-based court said it had also issued a warrant against Maria Vova Bilova, who is Russia's presidential commissioner for children's rights. Now, according to Kyiv, more than 16,000 Ukrainian children have been deported to Russia since the invasion began. The International Criminal Court said judges found there were reasonable grounds to suspect Putin's criminal responsibility. The president of the International Criminal Court said the execution of the warrants depends on international cooperation. This is an important moment in the process of justice before the ICC. The judges have reviewed the information and evidence submitted by the prosecutor and determined that there are credible allegations against these persons for the alleged crimes. The ICC is doing its part of work. As a court of law, the judges issued arrest warrants. Their execution depends on international cooperation. The arrest warrant for Putin, a sitting head of state of a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, is an unprecedented step for the Hague-based court. Set up in 2002, the International Criminal Court of the ICC is a court of last resort for the world's worst crimes when countries cannot or will not prosecute suspects. War-battered Ukraine welcomed the announcement. The Ukrainian prosecutor general said Putin will not be afraid to travel outside of Russia. President Volodymyr Zelensky dubbed the decision historic. Сьогодні маємо вагоме на рішення міжнародної юстиції у справі, в якій є реальна перспектива. Міжнародний кримінальний суд видав ордер на арешт Путіна. Історичне рішення, з якого почнеться історична відповідальність. Керівник держави-терориста і ще одна посадова особа Росії офіційно стали підозрюваними у воєнному злочині. У депортації українських дітей, незаконному переміщенні тисяч наших дітей на територію держави-терориста. The President of the United States, Joe Biden, said the warrant was justifies, justified rather, and makes a very strong point. He noted the United States is not a member of the International Criminal Court. I think it's justified, but the question is, it's not recognized internationally by us either. But I think it makes a very strong point. EU foreign policy chief called the issuing of an arrest warrant for Putin an important decision for international justice. British Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab also welcomed the move. We have always made clear at the European Union that those responsible for the illegal aggression against Ukraine must be brought to justice. And this International Criminal Court issue is just the start in the process of accountability and holding Russia and its leader to account for the crimes and atrocities they are committing in Ukraine. Moscow dismissed the orders as void. Russia is not a party to the International Criminal Court, so it was unclear if or how Putin could ever end up in the dock. Russia denies allegations of war crimes by its troops. Experts have said it is unlikely it would ever hand over any suspects. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.